Hello everybody, welcome back for more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we um, helped that hungry Luma and did the Drip Drop Galaxy, and we also began the Ghostly Galaxy, and in this episode, we're going to be continuing the Ghostly Galaxy with the kind of annoying stuff that I have tried several times to complete, but I've never seen to do it. I always screw up the end. So, anyways, this very annoying star that I'm referring to is a very spooky sprint. The gimmick here is that you have to race somebody, or something in this case, which is a boo with a helmet on. What, does he have special needs or something? Anyways, so I'm not going to question the logic of the scenario, so let's get moving, shall we? As you can see, that little line represents me trying to do this several times and failing at it. So, yeah. Anyways, let's walk over here, use our poor star bits to quickly rush ourselves over to the launch star and launch ourselves over to where the boo is as we collect more star bits from the purple shooting onions. Alright, so we land on this little planet and this boo asks us, or tells us, Hehehe, <laughs> so you're after it too. Well, you have to race me for it. Puts on his goggles. Here we go. Alright, so as you can see, you gotta race with the pole stars. Now, depending on how good you are with using pole stars, this race can be really easy or really hard. For me, it's been kind of both. Sometimes I've managed to go through the whole course without failing, and then I flop up at the end. Other times I'm just moderating with the little retarded boo here, like this one. And I don't want to be doing that, because I don't want to be babysitting this guy. So let's use our magical pull star racing pass. Oh god, he's catching up. Okay, stop hitting the meat. There we go, we're going faster now. Oh jeez, no. That seems to be here where I screw up. Because of these things. Okay, I found a safe path, finally. No, you will not beat me. You will not beat me. Goal! Finally beat this thing, god. It took like three tries. Hmm, a minute and nine seconds, huh? Well, I promise, I'll take this star. Yay, we got a star, finally. Okay, that was a bit annoying. But it's done and over with now. So, let's collect the star. You got a power star from a boo. He's retarded. Alright, so after that hell, we're going to be going to do uh, something else. Yes, a something else. There was a something else. And that takes us to 38 stars. 18 episodes, and we got 38... No, wait, not 18. 19 episodes! I can't count for my life! Okay, so let's pull ourselves up here. And do the third star of the Ghost of the Galaxy. And the one I'm dreading to do the most in the Daredevil Comet. Beware of Bouldergeist. This boss is hell! He's easy without the Comet, but on the Comet, he's bloody impossible. And I mean impossible. Seriously, try to match this guy and you'll probably die several, 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 several times. But for now, we're just going to be doing the normal one. Yes. I'll do the evil version of it in the next episode. Depending, or we could do it now, depending on how much time I have. But anyways, so let's um, just go to the mansion, which has somehow changed dramatically. Alright. And now this boulder's... Oh, Jesus. The Chomps is telling him to do any damage on boulders. Okay. What happened to when they were an om Alright, as you can see, you gotta get rid of a black boot. Which is, in fact, a bomb. Yes, a bomb. Alright, so in order to get rid of this guy, you gotta swing him into that statue in front of the fireplace. Easier said than done. Luckily, there's an infinite amount of spawning of these guys, so don't worry. Okay, so now that we've blown that thing up, a launch star appears inside. Alright, so, go through this, and a 
something going. Okay, yeah. Now we gotta do some wall climbing platforming type stuff. Ow. Stupid spider. You die. Yay, death. Alright. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Okay, let's get some coinage. And we got a fellow. Come on, stop doing that. Alright, so now that we got a sling star, we can use it to get ourselves over to this fling star, and then to a long star! Which will take us over here for more fling star in action, and of course, two bombers. And what you're gonna do is collect the star bits, obviously. You just set them down with the fucking bombers flying all over the place. Like that. And one up. We can always use that. Alright, come on. There we go. Alright, ow. That hurt. Alright. Alright, slam down on this thing. There we go. So let's fling ourselves over here and try to catch this thing in its orbit. There we go. Now that we've got that, we can use our magical ability to use pole stars and fling ourselves over there. Alright, there we go. No. Okay, there we go. I thought I was going to die for a second there. That would have been bad. i break through this thing. Weird looking. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so you gotta bounce ourselves all the way to, over to this Blanc star, which is so weird. Why not? I still think this is the weirdest thing you have to do in this level. Like, it seems weird. Alright, so let's use our launch star and go over to where the boss lays in a bunch of shining gold. Alright, let's talk to this guy. We don't have a star bits, damn it. So we can't help, we can't get anything from him, sadly. Wait, what was that? Okay, the shining light has disappeared. Alright. So, with that, we release the evil known as Bouldergeist. This guy is a pain in the ass. Even without the star. Alright, so, what you gotta do here is use Bombus, which come from the Black Rocks, if you can already tell, to hit Bouldergeist until his core is fully exposed. And then you throw another bomb at him to damage him. that. Alright. Alright, so come on. There we go. We got damage on him. And now, he's even more angry. And this time, he has hands. And this is where the boss battle goes to hell. See, now that he has hands, you gotta deal with the hands and then deal with his core. This can get tricky. Very, very tricky indeed. Sometimes he can get his core, but most likely it won't happen. So, when you get a bomb boo, try to go for either his hands or his core. I try to go for his core. I keep dying for some reason. And somehow I got his core. Okay. Whatever. So now let's use a bomb boo to get rid of this guy for once. Good. Come on, come on. What? Cheap. There we go. Alright, so now that we hit him twice, and that's all he needs apparently, we make him explode. That is very strange. Okay then. So after he explodes, let us collect the star. We defeated Boulder guys. He's a hard motherfucker. That's what he said. Um. So with that, we are almost up in the time limit. So I think we should end off this episode here. We got 39 stars now. 19 episodes, 39 stars. Yeah, we got more stars than we have episodes. Twice as many. So that's a good thing. 
Because that means we'll hopefully finish this game in another 60 episodes. So, next time on Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy, we're going to be challenging the hellish hell of hell known as the Daredevil Comet Run of the Boulder Geist mission. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to this, people. So until then, see you later and goodbye.